Welcome to the 1099 ETC program. This tutorial is an overview of the AMS payroll module. AMS payroll is a live or after the fact payroll software. It supports the following. Up to 1,999 pairs. Up to 9,999 employees per pair. All 50 states, including the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico. All state unemployment forms, plus most state withholding forms. Federal Forms 940, 941, 943, 944, plus the 1040 Schedule H. State Quarterly E-Filing for 35 plus states. For more details on EMS payroll, please review the health files. This is the main menu. Select AMS Payroll. The Select Payer screen will list all payers that have been set up in the program. The list represents payer folders that has been created in the work directory. Any data that is entered for a payer will be saved in the payers folder. This screen is also where the payers are created, deleted, copied and renamed. Highlight a payer and click OK. This is the main menu for AMS payroll. It contains a variety of information, such as the working drive-in directory, the current pair, the payroll year, the current printer mode, and the current printer. Click payer to continue. Use the payer command to assign a password, set up reminders, and review the tax tables. Select payer edit. This is the payer's general screen. Enter the payer's information. When finished, select Preferences. Preferences enable certain settings for the current pair. These include, check entry fields, checks or vouchers, miscellaneous, input or print and tax exempt preferences. For the purposes of this tutorial, we have selected some of the more common preferences. To continue, select the State, Local tab. This is the state and local screen. This screen is used to set up the state and local information for the pair. Enter the rates as needed. If use default max wages or rates as checked, the program will automatically update the max wages and rates for the state. If it is not checked, the user will be responsible for updating that information. Use the local section to set up local withholdings for the current state. Click the User Defined Fields tab. The User Defined Fields screen allows up to 40 fields to be set up. These fields provide for custom setup for special deductions and tax exempt items. Fields set up on this screen will appear on the Check Edit screens, which will be discussed later in the tutorial. The Add Field button is used to set up and define the fields either manually or by selecting a template. Click the Miscellaneous tab. The Miscellaneous screen is used to document additional payer information and track balances of user-defined fields. Click the Memo tab to continue. The Memo command is used to enter notes regarding the selected payer. These notes are for reference purposes only. Click the Check Nicker tab. This screen is used to set up and or edit the check information. The maker checks, the signature and or logo locations, and or check number settings can be defined. Click the ACA tab to continue. The ACA screen is used to set up or enter the ACA information. Select the correct ACA form for the payer and enter the information as needed. When finished, click OK. Next to set up employee information, click Input. The most common employee fields have been entered on the general info screen. The hourly rates are entered using the Add, Edit Rates button. Click the Status Information tab. The Status Information is used to define various items for each individual employee. The common fields have been filled out. Click the Live Payroll Parameters tab to continue. This screen is optional and only needed if the program is to calculate the federal, state and local income withholding tax for the employee. The common fields have been set up. Click Optional Information to continue. 
The optional employee information screen is used to define net pay deposit information, alternate SUTA information, and declining and inclining balances for the selected employee. All of this information is optional and should only be defined if needed. Click Memo to continue. This screen is used to enter notes regarding the selected employee and is used for reference purposes only. Click ACA to continue. This screen is used to enter the employee's ACA information. Enter covered individuals in the covered individuals section. Click OK. Use the edit command to edit existing employees. Click add to enter new employees. The view command is used to view a variety of reports for an individual employee. Click browse. The browse command will list all of the checks that have been entered for the selected employee. There are a variety of commands that will apply to this employee's checks only. Click quit. On the input screen, click default. The default command is used to enter default check or employee information. When new checks or employees are added, the default information that is set up will automatically be defined. Click find. The find command is used to search for specific employees based on name, employee number or social security number. Click print checks. Check printing can be done using specific criteria, such as department, class and memo filters. Pay periods can be designated as well. Follow the prompts to print the checks. This is an example of the way check type A will print. There are multiple check types available. The check types are selected through the payer edit command. Click add check. When adding a check, a check template will display. If a default check was set up for the employee, the values will be copied to the new check. The fields on the check, such as check number, hours, state withholding and user defined fields are optional and set up through the payer. Any field that needs to be calculated, needs to be checked. If it is not checked, the program will not calculate that field, it will honor the amount that is entered. The Save or Calculate button will calculate the checks. Save will save the check as well. Click Save, which will calculate and save the check. Click Pay By. The pay by command allows the user to add checks based on the pay frequency set up for the employee. The pay frequencies are weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, monthly, quarterly and annual. This command also includes a time clock import, an option to pay everyone, regardless of pay frequency, and the ability to tag certain employees to pay. Click Special. Special contains a variety of commands. Commands include omitting all employees, showing your to date taxes, adding employees to ACA covered individuals, and editing a common payee file for 1099 vendors. Click Toggle. The toggle command switches between either omit or unomit or tag or untag for the selected employee. The omit switch will omit the employees from forms and reports. The tag switch allows reports or forms to include only certain employees. Click Quit. Click Browse. The Browse command is used to display checks that meet certain criteria for all employees. Criteria may include omitted, unomitted and tagged. Checks can also be filtered by memo, department or class codes. Click Quit. Click Reports. This command provides a variety of reports, such as the payer and tax summary and the employee period detail. Most reports can be generated based on employee or check criteria. Special reports include a worker's comp, employee census and a new hire report. Click Forms. The Forms command supports the 940 family of forms and the state quarterly returns. This command is also used to export the W-2 and 1099 payroll data to the W-2, 1099 forms filer. Click ACA. The ACA command is used to print, covered individuals, 
Ensure details and a non-participating report. The 1095B and 1095C forms can also be printed through this command. Click a file. The ACA forms, 1095B and C, the 940 family of forms and the state returns, if supported can be e-filed using this command. Charges will apply for e-filing the ACA forms and the 940 family of forms and payment is made when the forms are submitted. Click Options. Options is used to perform a variety of commands, and includes payer backup, import and export, electronic deposits and the magnetic media filer, which electronically files state quarterly returns. File management is used to delete omitted records, edit due date, prepare and sign your information, and edit default max wage base and rates. The other utilities and settings command. Supports printing and editing client letters, creating TIN or SSN verification files and batching reports for taxpayers. There are multiple ways to import or export payroll data. Data can be imported from QuickBooks, Peachtree and or tab delimited text files. Data can be exported to QuickBooks General Journal, a tab delimited text file and Quicken. This concludes the AMS payroll overview. Please review the frequently asked questions on our website or refer to the help files for additional information. Technical support can be reached by email, fax, chat or phone. Thank you for using the 1099 etc. program. Have a great day.